I'm going to show you a very easy and uh, quick tip to uh, improve the snappiness and performance of the Firefox web browser and bring it a little more online with uh, what Chrome can deliver. Uh, we're going to do this by running uh, the bulk of Firefox's profile from RAM instead of off of our physical disk. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to take care of that. Let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is create an area within your system's RAM for Firefox to house its profile and cache data. We'll do this by modifying the fstab file, which Ubuntu Linux uses to control access to all of the physical storage devices on your computer. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal and navigate to slash Etsy, where most of Linux's global configuration files are stored. Now for this tutorial, we'll be editing a few files. Uh, you can use the editor of your choice. Uh, in this example, I'll be using Nano, but if you're more comfortable with Vim or Gedit, feel free to use those as well. Now since these are uh, important configuration files, you'll need to use the sudo command to edit them as if you were root. Let's go ahead and open the fstab file now. As you can see, there are entries here that identify and mount both your root partition as well as your swap file and there's also an entry for any optical drives. So let's add a new entry to the bottom as follows. We're going to be using the tempfs file system and we're going to mount it to the area where your Firefox profile would normally be housed under home. In this case that's uh, slash home slash bad servo. Use your own username in this scenario and dot mozilla. Again, the file system type is tempfs, and we're just going to set up uh, the default uh, access rights, uh, with one exception to make sure that we don't have any unnecessary timestamps slowing us down. I'm going to set this to mode 0777, or wide open, just to keep things simple. Now we can go ahead and write that output back to fstab and close. So now, when you've rebooted the machine, that command will take a portion of your RAM and create a virtual file system that uh, you can use then to store uh, your Firefox profile. Uh, the downside with this approach is that anytime the machine is powered off, anything in that folder will be lost. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that we have a backup of that uh, that automatically syncs to our RAM every time we boot. So let's go back to our home folder. Again, in my case, this is bad servo. Use your own username here. If you do an LSA here, you'll see the .mozilla profile as it currently exists, which houses your existing profile. Let's go ahead and move that folder to a new folder, which we'll simply call mozback. There. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and create a script that will copy everything that exists in the mozback folder to the RAM drive whenever the system starts. So to do that, we're going to be editing the file rc.local. So navigate again back to Etsy. And let's edit rc.local. The rc.local file uh, has a list of any scripts that need to be run uh, when the machine is first booted before user logon. So we're going to add a simple line here using the rsync command, which uh, should be installed by default in uh, nearly any modern Linux uh, distribution. And we're going to tell it to completely synchronize and delete any unneeded files from our home folder to the newly created on boot RAM file system. There. And make sure you do put those trailing slashes uh, to ensure that everything gets put in the proper place. And also be certain that exit zero remains at the end, uh, otherwise this will not work. Uh, again, you can go ahead and save this file as we're done editing it. Excellent. So what you now have is a scenario where the machine will boot, create a portion of space and RAM to use for the profile, and then copy your existing profile from this mozback folder to the RAM. 
So when you start up your machine and you open up Firefox, uh, you'll be good to go with all of your files already propagated and you will see a very impressive speed boost on Mozilla Firefox's performance. But we're not done yet. Now, what happens if we were to suffer a crash or a power interruption or for some other reason uh, the system goes down when we don't expect it? Well, any changes we've made to Firefox, including installing uh, new bookmarks or extensions or anything like that, would be lost. So we're going to change uh, the way we launch Firefox to uh, prevent that sort of thing from happening. The first thing you'll want to do is uh, go back to your home location and we're going to make a new file uh, that just for simplicity's sake we will call FF launch for Firefox launch. Now uh, this is going to be a simple bash script so let's start off with the typical identifying string and then we're going to put in the Firefox command on the next line. Uh, this will launch Firefox and then below that we're going to put in a second rsync line that will simply instruct uh, Linux to put the files that we've changed in the RAM drive back to the physical hard drive in our Moz back folder for safekeeping. Uh, again the command is going to be extremely similar to our previous command that we placed in rc.local uh, simply performing the file synchronization operation in reverse. There. Now you can uh, save that file and exit. Uh, if you do an ls here now you should see our newly created FF launch. Now we simply need to make sure that it's executable with the chmod plus x uh, command and as you can see it now shows up green meaning that it can be launched. So if we were to launch this uh, command uh, you'll see that the Firefox browser will launch uh, and uh, when we close it in the background unseen to us uh, it will synchronize any changes back to the hard drive. So to make things a little simpler uh, let's go ahead and modify our existing Firefox shortcut to call up this script instead of simply Firefox and to do that uh, as you can see we have a Firefox icon on the panel. Let's just right click that and go to properties. Here in the command line you'll see Firefox percent U. Uh, you can change that instead by simply typing uh, home, your username, and our newly created file fflaunch.sh. Now you'll notice that by changing the command uh, we've sadly lost our pretty icon. <laughs> so now on an Ubuntu Linux machine the path we want is going to be file system user share and way down here pixmaps. Now if you open up that folder you'll get uh, many icons including our Firefox icon. So that is essentially all there is to it. At this point you can now reboot the machine. Okay, so having rebooted, let's go ahead and log back into our machine. And at this point we can test and uh, make sure that everything went smoothly, copying the files in the correct locations. You can do that by opening up your home folder. Uh, as you can see, the Moz back file is still there with its two related folders. Now, if you press Control H in Nautilus, it will reveal the hidden files, uh, at which point you can go to .mozilla, and look at that, we have our two folders. So clearly, the uh, synchronization was successful, and uh, if you'll check, you can see here that uh, we have two items, free space, uh, just under a gig. And if you back up, click on empty space you'll see that we have 21.9. Now what that tells us is that uh, the .mozilla folder is in fact in our new RAM file system and not on the physical server uh, meaning that anytime that's accessed it will be done much more rapidly and if we use our regular Firefox icon here it pops right up into existence. Uh, you probably can't tell the uh, difference in snappiness here as I'm uh, recording this on a virtual machine, but on your physical host, uh, it really is a day and night differential in speed.